Hey there everyone, I'm Polkifenoid, and welcome to the finale of Tales of Destiny. I'm not gonna stall any longer because the ending is quite long, so let's just go. What the hell is going on here? There... I don't even know. It kinda looks... It reminds me of Mother 1. At the end, you found all these people in tubes. This is disturbing. Let's just go. What is this? Oh no! What? What the? All these people. They're dead. No, they're not dead. What? They're not dead. They're, they're being revived. All the energy that is being drawn from the surface is probably flowing into them. Are you saying that our world is on the verge of annihilation because of this? I don't believe it. Stan, destroy them. Stop. Oh, hello. Kronos! It won't do you any good to destroy them. Let us settle our conflict in a place that is worthy of our battle. Yes, before the Eye of Autonomy. And we gone full circle. Back to the god dang eye. <laughs> Suits me fine. Go inside. I will not run or hide. Alrighty then. That sounded like a invitation in my book. So let's go. Oh wow, this is awesome looking. Where are you, Kronos? <laughs> Despite your weaknesses and failures, you still managed to come here. Kronos. What do you want? Why are you doing all this? I want to resurrect the Ethereum people. What? What is a king without this subject to rule over? Do you ever care what happens to the people on the surface? In ancient times, the people on the surface started the war against us. They deserve their fate. But who was responsible for forcing them to fight? The surface world was almost destroyed by the tyranny of the Ethereans. That is only your interpretation of history. I am merely stating the fact. Fact? <laughs> Far from it! It's something that's purely based on the Ethereum point of view. You ravaged and tore the earth with an e inhumane weapon like Belkrant. Belkrant was merely our way to re retaliate against our attackers. There's not much difference between it and the Saurians that were developed by Earthers. What? Oh, I didn't mean to upset you. After all, you are all my honored guests who have traveled far. I have arranged something special for all of you. A special welcome, if you will. A special welcome? Yes. It is time for a reunion of sorts. Come out. What the? Leon? You're alive? What happened to you, Leon? <laughs> You're wasting your time. He's dead. He's merely a shell of his former self. He has become one of the living dead. He is only a loyal puppet controlled by his owner. Kill me. Leon? Le uh, kill me? Leon, I command you to destroy these infidels. Leon! Stan. I know, but... We have to do it. For Leon's sake, too. And this time, Kronos, you've gone too far. We have to fight Leon once again. Well, that was a good start. <laughs> Sadly, he doesn't have his voice, so we didn't get to hear him say Demon's Lance, but... Seriously, you... Ah! I get annoyed every time I see this. You don't revive dead people like that for them to be your 
loyal, loyal servants. Think about Rudy. I mean, Kronos doesn't care. Oh, crap. Kronos doesn't care at all. I know that, but... Seeing... <laughs> nice one, Gar. Seeing her dead brother coming towards you and attacking. I mean... <sighs> Sorry, Leon. At least... Now you can rest. May your final slumber be a peaceful one. Well, well. That was quite entertaining. You monster. How can you treat someone's life as it's some kind of plaything? You're going to pay for all the pain and suffering you caused. You still don't understand anything, do you? What can you do to me? Oh, I think maybe the Tower of Turaga got something to do with the fact that I can't actually do a lot to you. You're not going to defeat us this time. You no longer have an advantage over us. We gone to the Tower of Turaga. We got magical stuff in there. Then, come meet your fate. Death shall be your only salvation from my powers. And it's finally time to take this asshole down. I will say this, the battle theme is awesome, and the battle itself, though it's a little bit on the easy side, it is so damn cool. Kronos can cast some pretty nasty spells on you, I'm not gonna lie. If you don't stop him, he will probably end you pretty quickly. And I don't know why that happened. As you see, Kronos is flying. And he might be a little bit hard to hit at times. But if you have at least one spellcaster with you, it's really nothing bad. I decided to go with the, a party of the Four Saurian Masters just because I think it's... Yeah, that's gonna work. Because I think it's pretty fitting, really. But uh, if you don't want to do that, you should know that John is golden voice. Oh my god, it completely wrecked this guy. It is amazing to look at. <laughs> oh! What's up with all my party members killing all the bosses now? Oh, well, I'm not complaining. We took him down, and it felt good. <laughs> How amusing! Your pathetic antics are entertaining enough. Now, we will end the battle that we began a thousand years ago. The, the Eye of Autonomy! There's something wrong with it! The energy from the Eye of Autonomy is flowing into Kronos. Is he out of his mind? <laughs> my powers! My powers are growing! <laughs> This world belongs to me. Die, you scum! Oh, bring it on. Turn into your ultimate form of badass so I can kill you some more. Wait. What the hell is that? A... Flying piece of... Cartoony... Steak? I mean, what? Th this... This can't be his final form. I mean... Even Daos had his crappy, ugly form before he became the awesome angel form, right? I mean, this is not the final boss, no. This is Ultra Kronos. He is pathetic. The only special thing this guy is that he will shoot some lasers now and then, and he can teleport. That is all. This is pathetic. This should not be a part of the final boss, even though it's the second form. Seriously. Oh, yeah, he actually, he actually got the teleport. Oh, let's see. Divine power. Okay, I know some of you wanted to see this one. Because Hugo could actually use that move too. It is a combination of pretty much every, every elemental spell. It's pretty cool. And if I remember cor correctly, I believe actually... Philly, I can get this one too at a pretty high level. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> it's expensive though, but as you saw, it was pretty much a very nice screen nuke. It's a good move. Yeah, yeah, you see, Blizzard was the part of it. But uh, yeah, Hugo could actually use it too, but he died before he could do it. Which was probably kind of good because. Oh! Wow! 
I don't know if I even see that move before. But yeah. I really don't have anything to say about Ultra Kronos because he is just so <laughs> piss easy. Yeah, that's that's the best way to say it. He is so easy, it's not even funny. Even though I did actually get hit quite badly by Divine Power, but and that's it. Divine Power is probably the only thing he got that can actually hurt you pretty bad. I think he also got things like Big Bang, but really doesn't really matter. This this is impossible. Ugh, I won't die like this alone. I'll take all of you with me. Ugh. Wait. Please don't tell me that was the final form. What, what is this? What, what is all this shaking? Is Tycroft falling? Please don't tell me that was his final form. You look like Daos. Come on, turn into your angel form, please. What should we do? Damn it. Damn it! The surface will be destroyed! Destroy the Aether Sphere. Dimlo? How? Drive us into the Eye of Domini. What? The lens material of our core crystal is the same type as that of the Eye of Domini. We can make the core crystal vibrate at the, at the resonant frequency of the Eye of Domini. This will create a destructive shockwave and start a chain reaction. And it will spread to the ethosphere and destroy it. Wait, if our core crystals are destroyed, won't you also be... Yes, it will be our last farewell. No, we can't do that. We sacrificed too much already. There, there must be another way. Hurry up, we have no time. Do you want the world to be destroyed? But we were supposed to die when our alter egos, our masters, died. You, you see, so we have no regrets. I'd be honored to give my life to save our world. But there has to be another way. It's all right, Stan. We lived too long already. Everyone, I'm so sorry. Thank you for serving the Kelvin family for generations. I don't know how to thank you, Ignatos. Your kind words are more than I can ask for. Farewell, Ignatos. Clement, thank you for everything. You gave me strength to continue my journey. I am truly grateful. Well, I always enjoyed spending my time with you. I think we can call it an even trade. Yes. You'll be alright. You're a strong girl. Take care of yourself. Farewell, Clement. Atwight, you don't have to say anything. I know, I know how you feel. I'm not gonna say goodbye. I thought you'd say something like that, but I think I fulfilled my promise to your mother. Your promise to my mother? Yes, I promised her I protect you. That's all Chris Katreya ever wanted. And now, we're running out of time. Goodbye, Rudy. Thank you, Atwhite. Yes, that's more like it. You should live honestly and be true to yourself and others. Imlos, I want to say one final word to you. I lied to you. You were not chosen. <laughs> In the beginning, people were blessed with the power to truly understand one another. However, this power was lost by the time of the Aether Wars. But you found that quality within yourself, even before you met me. It was very unusual to find someone like you. But your abilities are not extraordinary. 
This is because this power, this ability lies dormant within everyone. Is that all? Hey, don't worry, it doesn't bother me at all. Eileen said that if everyone in the world could be like you, the world would change for the better. I agree with her. I think I can leave the world in your care. We'll protect the world for the present, but you must decide the future of your world by yourself. Make this world a better place. I know you can do it. Yes, I promise. So long, Stan. What are you all of you doing? You shouldn't stand there. We're not gonna last very long. Don't waste this chance we're giving you. Run! But I'm sorry, everyone. Dimlos, Agatos, Clement, Ad White. Thank you all. That's really all I can say. Damn it! Damn it! Stan? Stan? <laughs> Stan. Let's hurry. We don't have time. Maybe we were lucky. I was lost in despair after losing my original master. But I am happy I was blessed with a good master in the end. We can't let them die. Yes, we must pay for the legacy of our past with our lives. Let's get this over with, Clement. Yes, this is the end for us. Goodbye.